All right, the sun is shining up high and it's almost past 8 a.m. It's been a while since I have done a workout on my bike handling. Well, this should be around my sixth or seventh day of training for the past few months. And I have not changed my course, it's still the same. Um, 15 feet wide. Um, seven feet apart um, slalom and such um, you can look at the previous video so the reason why I'm not changing is because I am using a different boot right now I'm using an MX boot um, Gurney SG10 yep it's the little sibling of the SG12 which is their highest end model so I chose this because it's slightly cheaper and um, reviews did say that um, these boots are actually more comfortable for touring so right now they are still hard I'm trying to wear them in so by the time the border reopens I can just straight away put on these boots and just ride away so let's go for my final run for today and then we are going to go out for a short tour on the western area my favorite place, the farm
inside. Yeah, I'm so patient to wait behind a bus because not familiar with these roads now. This is probably one of the best places to ride in Singapore. Nice open road, no buildings, you know, it's just it's, all you see are greenery and the road, you know, it's just beautiful. My concern is way too much cyclists in this area, especially on Sundays. I got nothing against them, it's just um, they are a little bit dangerous. Yes, we all can agree to that, that they are dangerous. Speed check, 70 kilometers per hour. Speed check, speed camera right in front. Three, two, one, speed camera. And we're good. Time check, 8.30. Okay, I think my wife is still sleeping. I need to be back by 9 so that um, I'll be home before she wakes up. I don't want to I don't want her to be complaining saying that you know I'm, I'm out on my own again and I leaving her at home with nothing to do. But you know just solo rides like this is just really uh, relaxing. I, I like this. I like this. This is something that I do enjoy. As much as I enjoy riding with my wife um, as a pilot, you know. riding solo is very therapeutic. <laughs> Not therapeutic. Thera thera therapeutic. Ah, God, you know what I mean. Therapeutic. Ah, therapeutic. That's the word. Therapeutic. All these cyclists endangering themselves on the road. Uh, but what to do? The place that we are going to, I think, is called Sarimbun Beach. Well, there are MOE camps, uh, you know, Boy Scout, Girl Scout, whatever kind of scouts are there. All their adventure camps are held in there. I heard, you know, there are some possible trails in there. Hopefully. Because the one that I know that still exists is uh, in Tampines. Well, way too far way too far and that one is pretty crowded We've got too much riders in there so hopefully we find somewhere here on the west um, really hopefully hopefully Right off the bat, beaten off tracks, little bit of bumps. I will still not switch to um, off-road mode, you know, just cruise on the first gear. I still want my EBS to be working. So I 
I want to enjoy this road. So, oh, pretty hardcore, man. be a blazing demon on this road I'm a novice when it comes to dirt when I say novice really novice zero ex well I had like uh, probably um, six hours of experience no make that about eight hours of experience off-road other than that you know I am 100% a road guy don't be fooled by the machine you know the capabilities of the machine is only you know up to its rider and I'm a novice rider pretty sweet road well pow baby see someone also enjoying a nice tour right there So this is where they held um, some of um, the off-road camps for bike. Um, I think it was sponsored by BMW or a KTM dude. I am not sure whether we're allowed to join that. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's lovely. So this is probably the end of the line. Well, let's go uh, form up and take a nice photo right on this marking. Yeah, right here will be beautiful. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Is that a condominium right in there? Hmm. I guess the higher floor got a great view. Okay, yeah, let's see what it says in here. The Rinboom Beach Landing. Oh, I love this. I love this. I'm an I am an army guy, so I think this is one of the nice place to um, explore all the historical army stuff in Singapore. Okay, we'll go right up to the end. That side, we'll make a U-turn, and uh, we'll head back. they have in here adventure camp I never went to one of these camps I must be a loser oh, I don't have enough adventure in my blood wow that looks fun and look at that that looks great oh man that's fun oh there's a Kelong right in there wow Camp Christine Jalan Batera I guess this is the perks of um, joining CCAs and clubs. You get to enjoy um, all these facilities. Whoops. Oh man, 3.10. Oh god, fuck. I'm screwed. Okay, I didn't have enough to uh, do a uh, what you call uh, U-turn so one of the tricks I know is that um, always reverse against the blue yeah it makes it a lot easier like look at that it's a slope so a trick a novice trick using your common sense uh, yep, so this is uh, what is this place is all about. 
So really no available off-road in here except for that part which uh, seems uh, quite fun we'll try do uh, we'll try riding over there uh, while standing up yeah I hope I don't fall There's a lady doing some bird watching. Um, I think I'm dis distracting her because of my uh, loud engine noise. I'm so sorry, lady. Um, off-road you must always um, assume a sporty and a standing position you know ready to uh, do anything you know just be sporty yeah that's what I'm trying to do right now assume a really sporty stance This is uh, probably uh, almost a kilometer long road, or maybe lesser. Yeah, just really try to gain as much um, off-road adventure, off-road experience. No, these guys are having a blast, man. Just imagine cycling all the way up here. Must be very worthy. But for me, you know, it's just, um, just nothing. <coughs> just the, um, morning. Good morning. If I pull my bike, man, well, I'm gonna sleep, man. This bike is powerful. So I guess you know I should add this to my routine. Just get a hang of um, what is it like to ride um, on gravel road. No, it's not necessarily uh, not necessary for you to uh, stand while riding off road. You can just sit down. I mean, on this bike, it's pretty comfortable to just sit down. You know, because this is after all an adventure bike. it and I hope that was a good one I'll see you guys on the next one right